Pregame.com. Welcome back, Pregame.tv. I am Steve Fezzik here with Brian Leonard. We went 5-0 and last week, bringing, I just got a note from our leader, congratulating on us on a 20-5 and run. Pretty incredible. Didn't even know it was that good. But he also sent a, another note, don't let it go to your head. Don't screw up this week. Warriors at Knicks. How can we always talk about the crappy teams in the, uh, well, not crappy, but not the real contenders when we're having discussions on these games? I don't care who's playing as long as I can make some money on it. I like that. You don't care who's playing as long as you can make money. I mean, and that bears repeating because I love playing the less high-profile games and I oftentimes find the best value in it. I want to break this one down for us, Brian. Yeah, before we get started here, there's a little bit of controversy on the Internet. Um, we're not always going to agree on the same game. One person has a selection. The other tries to give a little give and take on it. Last week there was a game, you liked one side, I had an opinion on the other, I didn't use the other side, but it's something we look at all the time. When it comes down to the bottom of the screen, it says Steve's play is this, that's what the play is. I thought it was pretty self-explanatory. Can you go over that? That's complicated. Can you do that one more time? When it, halfway through, when it says let's make it final, and it says Steve's play is this, that's what the play is. So it shouldn't be any more complicated than that. I thought it was pretty self-explanatory, but... Uh, People were a little upset with that, claiming we didn't go 5-0. and We're not going to go 5-0 and every week. Really? And, and there'll be a 1-4 and week, but it's not going to be this week. We're going to win again. Golden State, Knicks. What's wrong with this Knicks team? It, it may be next week, because I won't be here for the next two weeks. So, <laughs> I'm, you know, Everybody knows I'm carrying this twosome right here. That's why I'm, that's why I'm the host, <laughs> and you are the major contributor. You know, take a look here at the Golden State-New York game. I'll get back to seriousness here. Uh, you know, the Warriors come in unre or unrested. They played in Indiana last night. We're taping this on Tuesday. The game is on Wednesday. Um, Golden State coming out of the break, they've won three out of four games, playing pretty well. Before they went into the break, they dropped five straight. But uh, one thing I always take, like to take a look at, and I hate to pick on teams, once again, Sacramento, Oakland, I'm from Cleveland. When teams play in New York, they play in the big city. When they play in L.A., they always seem to give a good effort. Uh, Golden State went into Brooklyn earlier on the road, catching six and a half. They win that game straight up by seven. Now they're playing in Madison Square Garden. I think that's one of the reasons why these teams in New York don't have as good of home court advantage as you would expect. Teams get excited about it. You've talked about that in the NBA, or excuse me, in college basketball when teams play here in UNLV. Of course, they play badly at UNLV. The, the teams coming here? Yes. Yeah, but they get excited to play here, so that's they why they play crappy. Yeah, but they cover the spread. Um, recently, yeah. Recently, yeah. Yeah. But uh, you take a look at New York. They've dropped four of the last five heading into this game. The only win coming against the slumping Philadelphia 76ers, who at the moment are getting blown out at home by the Orlando Magic. Tell you how bad Philadelphia's playing. Uh, the Knicks have covered at home against a possible playoff team just once since January 3rd. That was the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, they, were, they covered that game by five and a half points. Milwaukee has a losing record, so they're currently in line to make the playoffs at the eighth, eighth seed in the, in the East, but it's a team with a losing record. They're not playing well, but let me give you some of these games against teams that are going to go to the playoffs that New York has played against at home. Uh, Non-covers against Boston by 13.5, Chicago by 11.5, Brooklyn by 6, Atlanta by 3.5, Clippers by 17.5. This New York Knicks team is overrated right now, and anytime they play anybody that's any good, I want to go against them. Very good. Let me play devil's advocate. All right. Because I think this Golden State, I agree everything you say about the Knicks. I think Stoudemire is like a, a negative value guy, and way overpaid, doesn't play defense. I think he even says no one's ever taught him how to play defense. If that was true, I wouldn't have said that if I were him. Um, but Golden State, you look at this team, and I, th I think they're the New York Knicks of the West in, in many ways. I think they started out hot. They're, they really... I don't see much to like, and they got that phony win against San Antonio. San Antonio on the rodeo trip had a really bad game. I watched the end of the game, and it wasn't a matter of Golden State winning. It was a matter of San Antonio losing. Duncan had no legs. And then they play at horrendous Minnesota, and they win by one point because they have favorable three-point shooting. Minnesota is lousy. And I really don't like the spot at Indiana, at New York, back-to-back. -back. And the Knicks with so many stinkers that they've thrown in again and again. With a couple days off, I'm, I'd be a little bit careful this one. All right. And so after you win this game, everyone will say, well, Fezzik disagreed with you. Let's go ahead and make it official. 
All right, we're going to take the dog here with Golden State. To counter your argument a little bit, New York came into the season with a lot of expectations. They're struggling once again. We're getting the same kind of thing as we get out of the Knicks every year. Golden State, on the other hand, is a team that has not been very good lately, but they are playing very good ball now, and they are going into New York. Granted, coming off Indiana's tough. Indiana's a very good defensive team, but now they're going in, and they don't have to worry about that with New York. New York, when Felton came back, they thought the offense was going to start clicking. It hasn't. I will go against uh, New York here, and I will take the team that's rested. The spot isn't the greatest, but I think we're going to take advantage of the line in that regard. So we're getting more points than I thought they would. I will take Golden State, plus the points here is my play. Very good. We can have a, a, a side dinner on this, and that way we can keep every, everyone. Are you ever going to pay for these dinners I keep winning? I owe, I owe everybody dinner in town. I owe people multiple dinners, and you I don't. Should, you should have a cook out of your house one of these days. And invite everybody you've lost a bet to, but you may need to call in security because it'd be one of those just, parties. They have I, I saw. I saw Jeremy Lin got fined for a technical. It was like two thousand dollars, and he says, "Darn it, that's two thousand tacos I could have had on Tuesday." And I, I know how he feels, and I owe, I owe everybody those tacos. So, very good. Um, I know that we want to talk about like a high-profile NBA coming up next, but instead, look at this. We're stuck with Milwaukee at Houston coming up at pregame.tv. Stay tuned, as we like to say, who cares if it's fun to watch? We just want to win. It's all about the winning. Join us then.